today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. The energy has absolutely been so bizarre. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Just bizarre. So we just gonna. I'm going to as far as some of the internet that I normally tra traverse. Now I'm going to distance myself for that for a while. Yeah. Yep. And and it may be a matter of finding other places as far as enters and i'm not not talking about we're, we're going to be here but as far as different we have a tendency to get very polarized in the inner zones is mm -hmm. and until you're like no nah, no this is does not resonate with me anymore so i'm going to find other places and that gives me an opportunity to explore because there's all kinds of people out there there are there really are other <laughs> other micro minis there's a lot of stuff out there on the yeah. internet that I don't know. It seems like some a lot of the wrong shit gets shoveled in our faces. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what's happening. That's like I'm trying to re I'm trying to reprogram my damn for you page on my TikTok uh -huh. because it's just shoveling shit I don't want to see and have no right. interest in seeing. And if I do get sucked into it, it's like those damn Reddit stories. I'm having to click not interested, even though right. even though yeah, definitely I do get interested in them. If I continue. A lot of those are very upsetting. Yeah. So don't it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to fucking listen to no thing about their family drama and shit right. like that. And and this is the thing right now, this spirit of division that's going on. And even when people think that they're not involved, they can get, it's very easy to get sucked into it. Mm hmm and that's the the crazy thing about some of these big influencers they don't realize what they're influencing and you got to realize why why do certain people resonate with you well maybe you need to look at self yeah to see that that's it's like oh well they're saying what i'm thinking well maybe we should question some of those thoughts and so yeah after having I don't want to say I was shit posting. Kid said I wasn't shit posting. It was just calling somebody's hand on something. I don't want an erroneous, hurtful view. Yeah, that's not shit posting. Shit posting is like so. Shit posting is like my dog just farted. Hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Can you rewind that? I I was walking my goldfish. You that's know. shit posting no I'm, I'm not doing that it's just i was walking my goldfish i'm sorry <laughs> what can you rewind that <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should do some of those maybe i should now i tell you somebody that it has some hilarious short um posts or whatever they're called and that slapped him mm -hmm. they have a column or whatever his name callum is it callum i think it's callum wonderful sense of humor yeah and and of course it's always got that that spooky edge to it and stuff well he does but, pay spooky stuff yeah i mean that's that's their shtick it's like ours is ours is spooky stuff and then random but he's funny he is hilarious and like i said the live stream that he did there on uh halloween was brilliant yeah you got to see like more of i like live streams because you do get to see more of the person's personality right, right. And, and he just he's one of these people that would be great fun to be around mm -hmm. and i he, i think that they do live streams quite frequently where i just don't usually you know if there's bunches of people in a live stream i, I don't sometimes i watch it but it's not as much fun as if it's a small stream well, and you can actually participate yeah and they you do know. pick and choose because in the smaller streams they they don't there's too many people so or the uh in the larger streams there's too many people so they uh -huh. have to pick and choose and so they pick and choose the ones that they're familiar with yes and the little ones don't do that right because we just happy we just happy that somebody actually spoke up the small ones nah they're they're happy to talk to anyone that's watching yeah. their stream <laughs> for real you can give now and the medium sized ones they're getting attention. there huh? yeah. I said you can give individual attention. Yeah. In the medium-sized creators, even then, that's when it starts to be like, oh, they're picky and choosy about who they're, yeah. who they're talking to. Yeah. 
and that's the thing with comments if you've got somebody that's got all these thousands of comments on on a video or whatever they, they can't you can't expect them to respond to each one no you really can't and so we don't have to worry about that and i'm grateful yeah there have been so many times i'm like thank you god that, that we we doing what we doing we staying in our lane mm -hmm. and we're grateful for the people that share coffee with us and it's like, I will tell you this, as far as the titles of videos, mm -hmm. never assume that's what we're going to talk about. I don't, <laughs> right. I don't think my generation is necessarily going, like, falling back into that high production value anymore. I really don't think that they are doing that. Maybe I, they're getting tired of the files. Because I just saw this one girl, all she had was a webcam in her living room. Yeah. She was on a webcam in her living room, and she... It, it, she was basically doing like a mini music video for a cover that she did. How cool. Yeah. And That's it wasn't, original there wasn't YouTube. Much. Yeah. There yeah. wasn't much to it. It was literally, I think there was like two cuts in the whole video, maybe. Maybe more well, than that. Well, see, that, that high production value and, and the bullshit and all that stuff that went with it, that was what people were rejecting when YouTube first became. Yeah. And so now... You know that people that that uh, you know typical TV is is not is not That's, and so YouTube is trying to fill that place. Literally, the internet, people are rejecting some of the same stuff. The yeah, internet like where people go to watch videos now, mainly YouTube. It has been so. What is the word I'm looking for? Infiltrated that but it's been so industrialized yes yes it's the same groups that that own the tv and stuff like literally that. and they're trying to make it tv 2.0 and yeah. it's not working we're rejecting it more and more as the days go on well, I mean, we need our own little fucking thing and without interference from right from the government and shit well, like that exactly and that, that's why you've got different platforms like bit and odyssey and rumble because guess what youtube was very much self-policing back in the day and it yeah. still is yeah to an extent so it's just been like i said the energy has been really really odd and not in a happy way not in a happy way today it just there's too many filters too many things it's too clean well yes and no and it just i don't know and it doesn't it doesn't circulate videos like they should no they don't they don't it used to be that you would get random odd tiny channels like ours and you, very rarely anymore because these other places are monetized and so what are they going to do they got to have the monies to operate so they're going to show the ones that make them money mm -hmm. and it's okay because we're still gonna be doing what we're gonna be doing yeah and I did not let Kid know, I, let, I didn't uh, brief him about this one because I wanted his reactions on some of, some of these today. And this comes from a website called Wanderlust, as in to wander, not all who wander are lost. And it's by Team Wanderlust, or Wanderlust, December 14th of 2023, uh -huh. the uh -huh. world's 12 weirdest uh -huh. Christmas traditions. Oof. We thought, now, we've, we've done this as far as odd things for several years now, but this, lots of them that I was not aware of, so we're going to share them with you. Uh, Japan. They got it's, Christmas traditions? Yeah, they do. I didn't think they celebrated Christmas. We've shared Christmas. We've shared Christmas with anybody who wants to participate in the Christmas. Yeah, but I just didn't think that was one of their culture, cultural things. I didn't even think that was a thing that they would adopt. I know they adopted Halloween, but, uh -huh. or uh, well, the government still hasn't adopted Halloween. The people have, yeah, but, because it's fun. Yeah, you get make make fun of spooky. But I didn't know they celebrate Christmas. For many Japanese, the traditional Christmas dinner is Kentucky Fried Chicken. What? <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll have the Colonel over for dinner. I hope their chicken is better than the. It, the KFC used, that we got over here. It used to be so good. Yeah. It did. And it said that uh, 
It says, due to the combination of tiny Japanese ovens and a clever marketing campa- campaign convincing locals that fried chicken is a traditional American Yuletide feast, reservations have to be made to eat at a KFC on Christmas Day. During the run-up to Christmas, to Christmas, Carl Sanders statues outside KFC's Japanese outlets wear Santa gear. And the chicken is served in special holiday packaging. That's funny. So basically, they tri- their commercial stuff tricked him. Well, I don't know. They fooled him. <laughs> like, sort of, kind of. Because that is, KFC is not a traditional meal over here. No, not usually. It's ham. Uh, ham yeah. Turkey, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And number two... At least that's how it is in the South. That's that's how it is here in these mountains. Number two, in Norway. And Norwegians believe that Christmas Eve coincides with the arrival of evil spirits and witches. They may not be wrong. (laughs) Wait, which one? This is in Norway. It says it's only logical then that Norwegian household holders... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hide all of their brooms before they go to sleep. Okay. It says, after all, nothing spoils Christmas quicker than finding your broom in broken pieces at the foot of the tree, trashed by some joy-riding witch. Hey, let me tell you something. Anytime you want to come to this house, we will hand you a broom and you can just have at it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need brooms now. They don't need brooms now. They got mo- they got those mops, <sighs> vacuums. Hell, uh, that one Sanders sister was on Roombas. <laughs> she had two Roombas. <laughs> this is high tech. Yeah, it's high tech with this stuff. Mm. She was Calcus hoverboarding slurp. on fucking Roombas. That's funny. Number three from Caracas, Venezuela. It says, in the week leading up to Christmas, Venezuelans attend a daily church service uh, called the Early Morning Mass. And in the capital of Caracas, it's customary to travel to church service on roller skates. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. That's, and that's why is it roller skating? I don't know. And it said that the, it's so widespread that many of the roads in the capital are closed until 8 a.m. to provide the Christmas worshipers with safe passage. They just made that shit up and they just wanted to roller skate. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, no. But no. now it's like, what are they going to do? Do they take them off before they go in the church or what? <laughs> do they skate into the church? You, you gotta wonder. You gotta How did they wonder. get up those stairs? Then, number four, in Austria, it says that St. Nicholas has the evil counterpart called the Krampus. I don't think he's evil. I think he does. He he brings balance to the equation. And it says that uh, he's the bad cop to Santa's good cop. And is a demon-like creature with one task to punish bad children before Christmas. Yep, we all know Krampus. Oh yeah, we love Krampus now. <sighs> I am so glad that he has been brought back into the the holiday mix. I really do. Was he ever gone? Like it, he was gone in or in American culture, mm-hmm. but other places, no. Nah, they no, still they've always had Krampus and stuff over there, and in, in some of those over, Norwegian countries over here in America. I don't think Krampus became a thing until fairly recently. Right, right. And then number five in Catalonia, Spain. This one was the one that got me. Of all of them, this one was the one. And it says that they have a tradition, and I'm not going to try to do this in Spanish because it's it's the defecating log, the pooping log. What? And it do says, they all just shit a log in front of the <laughs> locals? Do they just drop a log right in, in front Catalonia. of the fireplace? They create a character out of a log, drawing a fence on it, and giving it a hat. Then they spend a fortnight oh feeding it, quote-unquote, fruit, nuts, and sweets. And then on Christmas Eve, the entire family beats the log with sticks and sings traditional songs that translates to, quote, if you don't give a crap, I'll beat you with a stick. Or if you don't crap well, I'll beat you with a stick. And it says, until the log supposedly excretes all of its treats. 
And it's hard to comprehend why this tradition hasn't caught on elsewhere. They're being cheeky. And it says, this is also, I think this is very, very odd. They also decorate their nativity scenes with small pooping ceramic figurines. Why? And usually well-known characters, often drawn from the year's news, the figurines always have their pants around their ankles. Uh, in a lot of places, that's a little bit, like, blasphemous. South Park, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's, that's... Mr. No, Hanky, no, that, the Christmas that's poo. just... That that's, was the one that got me. And coming, I gotta have a client coffee slurp after that one. That's mm. rough. That is rough. Uh-huh. Sweden. Now, this one we have talked about in the past uh, past couple of years. The uh, this is the unusual tra tradition that has a very long history with origins back in the 11th century, and that is the mentioning of a man-sized goat figure that accompanies Saint Nicholas. And these are the Sweden uh, constructs Yule goats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. At the beginning of Advent every year, with the most famous being something I cannot pronounce, which is a straw structure that often reaches 40 feet. Huh? So it's ginormous. Instead of burning man, you've got burning goat and people, they have to try to prevent people from lighting it on fire. Yeah. I'm, I'm but don't build something that just begs to be lit. You know? I'm wondering how these are becoming tradition. How these become Th that's, traditions. Like I said, this has been the 11th century. How? They've been there. They've been there. Now, this is pretty cool. And number seven, in Guatemala, cleanliness really is next to godliness locals believe that the devil and other evil spirits live in the dark dirty corners of your home <laughs> therefore they spend the week before christmas sweeping collecting trash and that and then piling everything into a huge heap outside and then finally an effigy of the devil is placed on top of the whole thing and that is set on fire see that's good i could get behind that yeah one. I definitely could. And uh, it's called the burning of the devil. And the idea for Guatemalans to burn is to burn all the bad from the previous year and start a new year from out of ashes. That's I good. like that. Yeah. I like that too. We, we need to, we absolutely clean today. We found things that sort if of. you had put Google eyes on them, you could have glued Google eyes on them. Because we have cats. When you have long-haired cats, you, you oh, see yeah. these big clumps of fur it's places. It's insane. Then, number eight from the Ukraine, and it says that in addition to standard tinsel, fairy lights, and baubles, Ukrainians like to throw an artificial spider and web on the tree as well. And the tradition had its origins in an old tale of a poor woman who couldn't afford to decorate her tree and woke on Christmas morning to discover that a spider had covered it in a glorious sparkling web. That's cool. That's a really cool story. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Number nine from Portugal. And this is during the traditional Christmas feast in Portugal. Families sometimes set extra places at the dining table for deceased relatives. Hmm. And it's thought that the practice will ensure good fortunes for the household. In some areas, crumbs are left on the hearth as well. And that uh, says, you, as far as people they're talking about, thought of feeding your relatives while that they're alive was hard enough. It depends on the relative. I wouldn't want them to eat crumbs. But as far as setting a place for somebody who is missing at the table, that that's actually in a lot of traditions. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What we do, we sit and we discuss. We, we bring those who have gone before into conversations of remembering them during the holiday season, what they used to do and the joy that they brought us. Mm -hmm. 
So it's not that we don't honor those who have gone. I think what they meant by it's hard enough feeding relatives while they're alive, meaning the drama that comes with it. Yeah, yeah, really. Number 10 from Italy, unable to conclusively prove the existence of Santa, the Vatican decided to throw its weight behind something that had countless dealings with uh, and that was an old witch called La Bifania, who delivers presents to kids in Italy. The story goes, now this is what they wrote. I didn't write this. The story goes that the three wise men invited the witch to accompany them to see the baby Jesus. And she said she was too busy and the legend was born. That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's she said that she was too busy and so she rides around gifting people yeah apparently is that an atonement for not coming to visit the I baby think so. jesus i think so See, because that does not make sense none of it makes sense none of it makes sense honey these that's are like the fuck, weird traditions the shitting that... log does not make sense no. <laughs> number 11 God. from chesnia it says, on Christmas Eve, unmarried Czech women stand with their back to the door and toss one of their shoes over their shoulder. If it lands with the toe facing the door, it means that they'll be married within the year. If it lands with the heel facing the door, then they're in for another year of being single. I don't, well, there's that's pre predetermining your future there. There are so many of those traditions as far as women wanting to know who they're going to marry. Uh-huh. You know, there's just a bunch. Of, we need to do a cup on that sometime. That's like if you catch the bouquet after the bride. Oh, yeah. It. And, and as far as not sweeping under somebody's feet that they'll not get married or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Then the last Actually, one. Actually, I heard sweeping under somebody's feet and sweeping people's feet takes their good luck away. And there's all kinds of things. There's just so much. And you've got to go, hmm, wonder how this started. And it was probably somebody sitting around bored and it's just like, let's see how gullible people are. It was somebody like me. Or someone had like some experience where someone sweep, swept their feet. They had luck. And then all of a sudden they swept their feet. And then that was supposedly Gone. yeah yeah i mean it, it's crazy and then number 12 from germany and it says on the eve of december the 5th german children leave a boot or a shoe outside of their bedroom door in the morning if they've been good they will wake to find the shoes filled with sweets if they haven't they will find only a branch oh i thought you said that it's gonna be filled with pee no <laughs> pee boot <laughs> <clears throat> pee boot pee boot and it says that it's that they think that it's best to leave the newest pair of shoes that they own preferably ones fresh out of the box <laughs> and, and <laughs> how all these different do you want melted chocolate in your shoe or do you want really this in your shoe? different different traditions <laughs> Everybody's got their own thing, and it's just, it's odd. But as far as the, the pooping log, no. That's the one that totally baffled me. Yeah. It totally, totally baffled me. That one does me. not make sense in the slightest. It's like, oh, God. Oh and, God. and people can go back, and as far as us doing the scholarly things, look at uh, Christmas traditions and trying to actually provide some edification of how these things came to be that you can go back in the archives and find it mm -hmm. at some point if they, if it's not been yeeted if it's been yeeted yeah it'll be all right yeah speaking of tradition this is gonna go a bit off topic but i found a traditional recipe basically it's it's an old recipe for skincare uh-huh olive oil petroleum jelly uh just olive oil Witch hazel was another one that they used quite frequently as far as that and apple cider vinegar. There's all kinds of things as far as skin care. But yeah, as far as olive oil is, is good for many, many, many things. Now, going back to the Christmas things, 
and as far as uh, there are, there's a type of tree that grows around here. It used to, I don't, it's, but that may be another thing that has, uh, that is no more. That, there were sycamore trees, and they produce these sycamore boughs, wow. and they're about eh, about as big around as a quarter. And my grandmother had told me that as far as you've got to realize the level of poverty that these people grew up in because of the Depression and, and the Appalachian Mountains. So that compounded everything. Yeah. And taking either bits of tin foil or something like that and making ornaments out of those. So we've got wonderful traditions here in this area. And... Um, yeah, those things need to be remembered and things to be grateful for. Yeah. Personally, I'm grateful we don't beat logs, hoping that they'll poop. If we've got a log and it's going to poop, then it's going to be yeeted out <laughs> in the yard. It's right? going to be set on fire. That's something that we're going to call somebody. A damn pooping tree. That <laughs> If you burn ah. it, you smell shit from miles yeah, away. Yeah, no, that goes in the burn barrel outside. Mm. No, you can't do nothing with a pooping <sighs> tree. There's a, there's a problem. There's a problem there. Final thoughts, kid. If there's a pooping tree, does that mean sap is the tree's pee? It could be. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's... that's. Or is it their blood, or is it all just one? I don't know. I don't know. That's just nasty. beyond me. I think that's kind of nasty. I really do. I'd rather not deal with that. I really would rather have a rather hygienic type of Christmas. But it didn't say anything about them shitting on it. They just said they beat the hell out of yeah, it. Yeah, they beat it until it shits. So that's what it is. It's uh, Yeah, no. No. No, we try to avoid that. If you've had experiences with paranormal, supernatural encounters uh, with UFOs, aliens, cryptids. They just did that to fuck with their children. I think That's they what did, too. I really do. If you've heard other really, really bizarre Christmas traditions, or you can traditions send us an in general. email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And uh, I will put the link to the article in the description box yes. for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. We cover some weird stuff. That's what I, that's our shtick. I know it is, but that's beyond. <laughs> that's our lane. That's. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm not trying to be offensive or anything like that. It's just, that's, uh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird that's what we do that is our lane that is our stick is weird paranormal supernatural weird remember we're the ones that have the what the fuck files okay okay so i, I could have every day i could have a what the fuck file but it's just it, that would get tedious mm -hmm. so weird is good yeah <laughs> Do the thumbs up thing there for the it, YouTube peoples. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like, <laughs> click the notification <laughs> button for daily notifications of our daily <laughs> uploads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Know that you're loved. <clears throat> you know that again. you're loved. <laughs> it's, um, the do you? it's the do you? tree. It really is. It's, t it's taking my breath away. Know that you are very loved, and Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Yes. Bye. Oh, bye. Sh shitting log. <laughs>